In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this part and uh, this drawing. It's part 28, lower die, 2 center. It's part of the uh, button maker project. It's uh, project 8.1. And it's on page 18 of that document. All the dimensions are here. Let's start out by creating a new part. You sketch on the XY plane, create a circle at the origin, a diameter of 1.563. I'm going to place a point at the origin also. An extrude, an extrude in the opposite direction and uh, to keep the sketch on the front face, I'm going to extrude out 1.313. I'm going to turn on the visibility of the sketch, and I'm going to put a, a hole at the center location, and it's going to be a countersunk hole, and it's threaded. Uh, the thread is a uh, quarter twenty. The countersink diameter is 0.375 and it's 82 degrees. And the depth is uh, one inch. I'm going to create a sketch on the far side. I'm going to draw a circle, and the diameter is going to be 2.125. And extrude uh, that profile, and I'm going to go in the reverse direction. And the depth is uh, 0.313. Uh, make sure you're adding material, selecting this icon here. I'm going to create another sketch on this surface. And the diameter here is 1.75. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to remove material going by going in the opposite direction. I'll choose this profile here. You're removing material, and the depth is 0.25. I'm going to use my fillet tool and I'm going to put a fillet on this edge there and make the uh, fillet 0.03. I'm going to turn off the visibility of this sketch. I'm going to go to my chamfer tool, set the distance at 0.03, choose that edge, rotate the part over and choose that edge. I'm going to go to the eye properties of the part and go to physical and change the material from generic to steel alloy. I'm going to reassign my front view. I'm going to use this as my front view. Select set current view as front. I'm going to create a new drawing. I'll 
place my base view. Set the scale at 2 to 1. Uh, front. A top view, a front view. Create a front view, a top view, and an ISO view here. I'm also going to create another view looking at the bottom because you can't clearly uh, see the bottom of the, the uh, feature on the bottom of the part. I'm going to go to base view and create a uh, bottom right view. Escape and reposition that uh, part, that view there. I double click on this and also change that to shade it too. Hit OK. And I go to annotate and choose my center line tool. Click on the outer diameter. Choose this center line tool and point to this center line, center point of this line, and the same on the other side. Hit escape twice and grab the line and extend it the length. place a new view, a section view. I'm zoom in here, I'm going to select this view and then I'm going to point to this line. Point to the bottom of the line and right click and say continue. Zoom out and place the section view approximately there. Let me go back to my annotate tool and use my center line tool again and do the same thing here. Put a center line here. I'm going to add the threads to this view. They're not being displayed. And the same on these views here. Go to my dimensioning tool. Go to my whole dimensioning tool. Hit escape twice, and I'm going to add a thread depth to this. Place my cursor here, space, and then choose this this icon here. This insert insert this symbol, the thread depth, and then choose this parameter, the whole depth. Hit OK, and you notice that it appears there now. Go back to dimensioning. Choose my chamfer dim dimensioning tool, point to that edge and the top edge. I'm going to choose my chamfer tool again. Choose this surface here and this one.
go back to by dimensioning tool. It escaped twice. Reposition this dimension. Double click on this dimension and position your cursor at the front right there and then choose the diameter symbol to designate that that is a, a diameter. I'm going to change the title. Right click here, choose Eye Properties, go to Summary, change the title to, to 28 Lower Die 2 Center and change this name to your own name. Export to PDF and submit the PDF to LMS to complete the assignment.